Hey y'all and good morning. Apparently it's like stocking day at Tom Tom. I came here because I found a 50 cent off coupon for Pop Tarts. They're on sale two for five or something like that. So I'm gonna get two for five dollars and get my 50 cents off. I am back at the storage unit. Furniture has come in. I put almost all of this stuff away. I do need to sort through paperwork still. But I can at least pick up another box or two. Let's start unloading those to get those all done. And the storage unit emptied. And then we can stop paying for the storage unit. I don't know that all this is going to fit in my car. But we're going to try. But look, I got my ring light. Ring light that I've never used. But there are some sit-down videos that I need to film, mostly for Air Force Wing Moms, but maybe a couple for my channel. So I'm starting an Air Force Wing Moms channel. I was putting this stuff on my, there's somebody else here, but I don't see them. Anyway, I was putting, putting them on my channel, which is fine, because I was getting views, but I really need to put it on the Wing Mom channel, so that way it can be for the organization. So. I mean, I may still put them on my channel because it's my content, but yeah, anyway, blah, blah, blah. Not really that much happened today in the realty world. Oh, I have a little bit of room. This might work, but not much happened in the realty world today, but I need to get stuff done. I still feel like I'm kind of like running like backwards. That was me running backwards in slow motion. <laughs> It actually all fit. What? All four boxes plus the ring light fit in the back of my car. What? Oh, what? what? <laughs> okay. And then the cart got away from me. So, come on, cart. Come on back. So, tonight we're making feta topped chicken. Ooh. Hang on that again we're making we're making I'm making feta topped chicken for dinner it's gonna be yummy yeah. that's about all that's happening I guess I'll show you guys how I make that so at least we have some content on the channel and I could do like feta topped chicken recipe mm, yeah should turn out good though I'm hungry for it I'm actually hungry for somebody else to make it let me just go home and enjoy it, but that's not how my life works. I'm not to that level yet, you know what I'm saying? Seriously though, talking about like what level I'm at, you're at, we're at, she's at, who's at. I'm not trying to compare myself, but I am thinking that, okay, talking seriously about what level I'm at, not trying to compare myself to your level, her level, his level, or anything like that. We'll see how long we can keep you up there. But I am trying to think, just like in my mind, okay, did I say this to you guys this morning or did I talk to girlies about this? But I was just thinking to myself like, okay, what does a day in the life that I'm trying to create, what does it really look like? Does it look like me getting up at six? Does it look like me working out? Does it look like, I don't think it looks like me working out, but maybe it does, I don't know. I'm just trying to think like realistically, what does my schedule, my day-to-day -day stuff look like? And I know it's gonna be busy and I know it's gonna be work, but I, what do I really wanna do? What, what doesn't, like for example, what does an influencer do? I mean, they could, they could do a lot of things. I've always seen these like little tiny spaces and that particular one goes this way. Hmm, interesting. So, I gotta kinda define what I wanna do with my life so I know that I'm on track. I was listening to Rachel Hollis this morning. She was talking about her journal and how they, how you write down the 10 things, like your 10 goals, the thing you're gonna do today to help you get to your goal and that kind of stuff. So. I'm thinking, do I really know what my goals are? Do I really know where I'm headed? Do I really know what I want to do? Do I really know what that looks like? And am I doing the things that's going to get me closer to that? Or am I spinning my wheels and doing stuff that's just like not helping me get anywhere 
near closer to what I want to be doing. So we'll continue this combo later. Hey guys, tonight I thought I would show you how to make chicken feta, wait, feta tomato topped chicken. So all you need is some chicken, and mine's frozen, but I'm about to thaw it out just a little bit. Some tomatoes and some feta cheese. You also need balsamic vinaigrette, Mark and Bot Kraft. Was there other kinds besides Kraft of the balsamic? What? Was there other brands besides just Kraft? Mm -hmm. There's yeah. other brands, but Kraft was on sale, so <laughs> Kraft it is. So, what you do is you're gonna place. Well, Kraft is the brand, but there were other. Well, I'm saying like, was there like, was there uh, Thousand Island, Thousand Island balsamic, Island. and was there whatever balsamic? So, and who's text? You get a pan. I'm just using this kind. I'm making a ton of chicken, even though there's only two of us, because Marvin and I like leftovers, right, baby? We like leftovers. So you're gonna put the chicken in the pan and then you're gonna to top it with some balsamic. Now it says probably like two tablespoons or something silly, but I just like squirt on there until it looks like it's coated. Then you bake it for however time I will, I will put in the thing. I'll put in the description box the recipe, like the actual recipe. So you bake it for a certain amount of time, then you cut up the tomatoes, put the tomatoes all on top, and then you sprinkle some feta cheese. I put some more balsamic on top of that. Bake it for about 10 minutes, broil it really. So it gets kind of, yeah, my cats are playing in there. So it gets kind of um, toasty on top on the cheese and then you're done. And it's really good leftovers too, so. All right, let's get this done. If you're going by the Betty Crocker recipe, which is the one that I'm using, it says four boneless skinless chicken breast halves, two tablespoons balsamic vinaigrette dressing, I practically use the whole bottle. One teaspoon Italian seasoning, a fourth of a teaspoon seasoned pepper, one large tomato cut into eight slices, and a fourth a cup crumbled feta cheese. Well, mm -mm, mm -mm. more, more. We need more ingredients. Anyway, so that's what it says. You broil it for about 10 minutes, turning once until juice of the chicken is clear, and then you top with the cheese and broil two to three minutes longer. So. I'm gonna try it, but I'm gonna um, thaw out my chicken first, and we'll see how it turns out. So I have thawed out my chicken, and I cut it up into little or medium-sized chunks, and I added some garlic powder, and some seasonal, and some tan seasoning, and then I used about a half a bottle of balsamic, even though it didn't call for near that much. Then it says to put it on broil for, I think, 10 minutes total, but you turn it once. So I'll set it in the broiler for about five minutes, flip it around, maybe add a little bit more seasoning, and then when the timer goes off again, I'll add, I'll cut up some tomato in the feta, and I'll show you that too. Dinner turned out great. Marvin is watching the city council meeting online, and I brought those four boxes home. I've emptied out three of them. So the last one has some um, like coloring books and stuff like that. I don't have a box yet for the little girls. When I say little girls, um, they're not getting, well, they're not big. Uh, I think my oldest niece is nine. She's nine, pretty sure she's nine. And so they're like nine, you know, and um, down like that and have one nephew. Plus um, granddaughters, coming over, although the granddaughters are older, except the great granddaughters not older. Anyways, I need like a toy box of sorts for them because I have crayons, I have color books, and so I'm gonna get one of my plastic totes out of the storage and put all that stuff in there. So that way when they come over, I can say, hey, go get out your toys, and they'll go get out the toys and things will be grand. So that's what I'm gonna do, and then, uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, so that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that, plus work on the piles, plus get the stuff set for posting tomorrow for Wing Moms. But other than that, so that's, that's gonna be the bulk of my night, and it is already, let's see what time it is. It's after seven, because the meeting's on, I know that. It's 7.43, and people replied to my test, I have low battery. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, 
Um, I told people about a meeting time. They're like, perfect, great, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. And um, what else? I got some stuff done today, though. I, I do feel good about that. Not as much as I wanted to, but bear with me. I am gonna get some more stuff done tonight. And tomorrow I have a meeting and a Google conference call and I don't remember what else. So I'm gonna get ready for all of that stuff. I'm gonna get ready for bed in a little bit because I was a little bit tired this afternoon. I don't know, I just felt like I needed a nap, but I didn't have time for a nap. So, all right guys, that's it, that's it. That's all I got for you today. I'll see you tomorrow, bye.